Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. Let's take a brain break. So take the time right now to pause, to take a deep breath, breathe in through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, just allow the eyes to close. Allow the body to be still. Allow the mind to be still if it wants to. And just allow whatever feelings arise to come to the surface. Now let's go to Chanel for our new Black History segment. Hey Patriots, this is our new segment dedicated to Black History to remember those who truly sparked change and gave hope to African Americans everywhere. Today we are going to talk about Jack Johnson. Jack Arthur Johnson was born on March 31st, 1878. Back then, if you were African American, your opportunity to play sports was limited, simply based on the color of your skin. But he didn't let that stop him. He pushed those boundaries and went on to become the first African American heavyweight champion. He was crowned one of the most influential boxers of all time. His efforts and dedications inspired change in the sports industry for African Americans everywhere. Now let's go to Yozdani for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Chanel. Sports fans, most of us look for sports that are fun as well as competitive. Well, there is now a fairly new twist on an old favorite, tag. Believe it or not, it's not just child's play. Chase tag, as it is professionally called, is much like the ones kids play, except this one is for grown-ups. It was invented in 2011 by a pair of brothers who were playing tag with their kids in a garden. Teams compete against each other in rounds of 20 seconds each. If you get away when it is your turn, you get a point. The team with the most points after 16 rounds win. These days, these are professional chase tag teams all over the world in arenas and is very popular on YouTube. Check it out. Now let's go to Aiden for the lunch report. Thank you, Yosudani. Today's lunch is barbecue chicken, mixed veggies, pear cup, and only chocolate milk. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Anjali. Thank you, Aiden. Patriots, Black History Month kicks off today. This month, we will have special daily activities. Today, you are wearing your favorite Black History Month shirt, and tomorrow is your Black History Month coloring contest. Ask your teachers for details. I can't wait to see what you created. Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for 7th and 8th graders. Applications are due February 7th. Check the flyer to see if you meet the requirements. Try to get your applications in before it's too late. Sports fans, tomorrow our boys basketball team has a game at 4.30 p.m. against the Browser Mimonades. Make sure to wish them good luck. We're getting ready for our glow party. There's going to be a great DJ and fun party games. It's going to be a glow-tastic experience. This challenge ends by March 11th. So let's go with those lessons done, and it's going to be a bright and glowing experience. The Superhero Store is open. The store is open from 7.15 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. 7.15 is the best times to go because there are no lines. The Hero Store is in room 114, and tomorrow it's the 5th and 6th graders turn to go to the store. Make sure to get there early. Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angeli. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather in Pines is 70 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Although in the afternoon the temperature rises, morning weather is still staying cold. In other weather news, out in the northeast, snow is getting serious. In Massachusetts, temperatures are reaching lower than 25 degrees Fahrenheit, 
freezing roads, and unleashing blizzards, which resulted in two and a half feet of snow. This also covered many houses and businesses, which caused them to close for the day. Hopefully there is some normal weather heading our way. Now's head to Scott and Sonia for Weird But True. Thank you, Randy. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Scott. And I'm Sonia. Here's this week's Weird But True Fact. Did you know that there's a zebra that has polka dots? Wow, that's way different from the typical stripes. But it's true. This zebra was named Tyra and lives in Kenya. The reason she looks this way is because she has a pigment disorder. As abnormal as she is, it sure is a sight to see. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Now let's go to Peyton for today's birthdays. Thank you, Scott and Sonia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Aiden Alvarez, Savannah Matthews, Elijah Velazquez, and Noah Severe. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Peyton. Patriots, here are your past expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Santori, Ms. June, Ms. Onley, and Ms. Dankwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what type of bird can do math? The correct answer is pigeons. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which percussion instrument is named after its shape? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesartrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!